hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video we are going to talk about that how you can add e-commerce uh, in your cargo collective website uh, so this is uh, the cargo to uh, i will be teaching you in the cargo to uh, so yeah let's get started so first uh, i have created a, a page which is home page i have set it as home and uh, here I have uploaded few images uh, to enable the e-commerce uh, like uh, I am having this commerce uh, tab here but uh, in your website it will be not present so what you can do you can just simply go in the commerce and from here uh, you will get option to enable and disable the cargo commerce from here you can switch between uh, so now let's get and get back to the commerce tab and from here you can create the new product suppose uh, this is my new pro uh, new this is a product which is my art piece let's say art piece one and this is going to be my physical product uh, which i'm going to deliver uh, to the uh, user how, uh, home uh, so you can give the pricing here like I have given 100 USD and inventory is how many uh, uh, pieces do you have so let's say 10 I have 10 artwork piece of this one and let's see the weight I'm just uh, giving uh, uh, writing the random number you can um, write the correct one so now let me save this so this is a physical product and this is the one product which we have created let's create another one uh, this is going to be my digital product uh, it means that it can be a uh, uh, it can be a photo cop a photo or a PDF uh, anything uh, which can be downloaded from internet uh, I'm going to select this as digital and from here you can write down the price here and after that what you can do uh, you can write down the inventory for this like 100 download and here you can write down the message that after downloading what you want to show to the user uh, so you can mm, write down please download the attach mount from here and after that you can paste the link uh, of that attachment suppose this is the you, you can download you can upload upload the attachment from here uh, you want that uh, after making the payment the user uh, uh, is able to download this file so what you can do you can copy this thing and after that you can go to the commerce and paste it here uh, yeah so after that uh, the user can click on this and uh, download that file let me save this as well so these are the two products um, which we have created so suppose this is the first artwork which we are having and let me add some of the things here just to make it look better shop art shop let me make this h1 h2 make it to the center of the page and after this this is our art piece one 
and here you can give some of the description like your choice this is demo description now to add the add to cart button you can simply click on this and after that you can select the product which you have created like this is the product which we want to add so you can click on save and after that you can check on the page like currently if i will click on this it will uh, show you coming soon because uh, i have not upgraded the commerce uh, to make this thing uh, work you need to upgrade to your cargo account to the cargo commerce so so that uh, that user user can then purchase from your website after that and yeah this is how you can add a add to cart button similarly what you can do you can copy in the you can just quickly doing these thing so this is the art piece too which is going to be our digital product and here you can uh, select the second one art piece too from here you can toggle this thing and you can also edit this add to cart like you can write it as add cart as well you can also uh, tweak uh, with the uh, with the color of the button uh, styling using css and if you want uh, what i can do let me remove this thing let me add a header here and in this let me add this a column here we want that there should be uh, there should be a cart icon let me add the cart icon it is not showing let me just add cart and you can link it with view cart and you can click on append of item so um, what is going to happen that uh, if uh, the user uh, will add uh, the product in the cart it will be shown here when clicking on this thing let me make pin this thing and adjust this let me quickly design this thing like yeah so if i see now yeah it is looking something like this and if i click on this like the cart is empty uh, so after enabling the uh, cargo commerce uh, the product can be uh, will be added to the cart now let's see how you can create the product which is which is having variation suppose you have a shirt and and uh, you, you are having variation of this product like you have a uh, small medium uh, large these are the variation of this product or or the color so this is the color Mm, let's add one more attribute which is going to be size and from here you can add the size like small medium all these things and after that yeah you can generate the generate the variants from here and like for the black you want the price Hundred inventory is two. You can write down the size. Similarly, for the white, it is one hundred ten, and for the blue, it is one hundred 
50 inventory size all these things uh, and after that you can save this now if you go back to the home page and let me quickly duplicate this pages now we have added a variant product which is black and now user can toggle between let me show the price so if uh, for the black the price is 100 for the white it is 110 dollar and for the blue it is 150 so yeah that's how you can create the variation product and mm, what else do we have so after creating all these things and uh, creating the product you need to uh, fill up all these settings like uh, your shop name, email address, all these things and after that you can uh, you have two option uh, to add as a payment provider either you can use Stripe or you can enable the uh, PayPal uh, so from here you can connect with any of the payment providers and after that you can add the shipping so what you can do well, well, first thing is that you can add free shipping second thing is you can use this third party uh, shipping cost provider which is use Shippo and one thing is Another one is you can add your own shipping options like like uh, you want for the US shipping US shipping and you can add 10 and from here you can add the country United States and from here you can select the select deselect the states and for the US uh, the user ordering your product from US it will have 10 USD as a shipping charge uh, to add all the country you can add world and after that uh, the user ordering from any of these countries will have uh, will need to pay 10% uh, 10 USD as a shipping charge so yeah you can uh, define your own shipping from here after that uh, you can select the taxes and uh, you want then there are two options that uh, first one is you do not want to collect the tax second one is that you can define your own tax rate like this and you can write down the tax like let me just say demo and after that you can add 1% and you can uh, include shipping cost when calculating tax you can enable this thing and after that you can add the country similarly for the US it will have 1% of the tax added and uh, so now you can define a new rate as many rates as you want for the checkout customization uh, you can check out this the in this which is term and condition page and here you can create uh, any of the page like uh, right now I have only two pages which is header or home uh, you can create a term and condition separate page and after that you can select it from here you can create uh, leave a note here like thanks for shopping something like this and you can also click on note required like uh, while making the checkout uh, the user need to write down uh, some message for you and after that you can customize the order success message like uh, this is the default order completed message you can customize it from here thanks for shopping 
something like this and after that you can also create uh, the custom order success page from here currently I, I have only these two pages but you can create a you know, custom uh, order success page and add it from here and from here you can select the require of phone number and after that uh, you can save all these settings if there are some of the things let me just uncheck these things and yeah that's how you can and you need to upgrade to, uh, to start selling you need to pay this much amount like for the yearly and or for the monthly this is the charges so i hope you have uh, found this video helpful uh, do let me know if you have any query uh, thanks for watching the video see you next time